Hi, genius Gemini Risings. <laughs> I'm Jamila. Welcome to the Venus Experiment channel and your horoscope for this equinox full moon. So the moment that the sun goes into Aries and it's an astrological new year for the sun, the moon is exactly opposing just hours later. So it's zero degrees Aries sun and zero degrees Libra moon. So this moon will be shining a light on your fifth house, on the house of love and joy and romance and kids and hobbies, the fun stuff where we're a kid. It's the, child, the children house. So it's about your inner child right now. And this marks a new beginning in your, the way you present yourself in the world, in your communities, in your social world. This very visible presentation that you put off, you smarty pants Geminis, <laughs> is going through a healing journey. Chiron just moved into your 11th house in mid-February and now the sun reaching up with Chiron. This is a real start, a new beginning, a new beginning for how you put yourself out there in the world and your friends and your goals and your dreams. It's a new beginning for the next seven years in this area, all about your friends and your dreams and your visions for the future. You are going on a healing journey with your friends, with your community. The community is changing as you heal, as you go on your journey within. And it's really lighting up your fifth house right now, re lighting up your inner child. So it's time for some self-love, some big time self-love, smarty pants, <laughs> Gemini's. So really being there for your heart and the child within you. This moon is wanting you to look at that. And the next 30 days of really thinking about your community and your friends and your social network that you join when you show up in the world. Who are these people? And what are, do they believe in the same things that you do? Or do they have that same dream that you have? Because it's really about your tribe for the next 30 days and about your team and launching this new healing vision for the next seven years of healing your team and your tribe and healing with your team. <laughs> and all of us are gonna be feeling the square of Venus and Mars on this full moon because it's a full moon in Libra and Venus and Mars are squaring. So this is within and without. So we can feel tension in our relationships tension and passion that needs resolution or wants resolution so we can also feel that within within our creative uh, doer side and our receptive receiving side they really both have important needs that need to be met here so your venus where you love right now is in your ninth house and so you're getting this philosophy this this freedom this vision right now and this independence and there's some clash with your subconscious something in your subconscious is working itself out as mars is running through your 12th house and really uprooting some dreams in your subconscious and Uranus just went into your 12th house too. So the awakening is going to be happening for the next seven years in your subconscious, in your dreamland. So very interesting because that is the receptive area and now Mars is roaring through that receptive area and activating it and energizing this subconscious area. So there's this friction between your philosophies and your independence in your relationships and this need to do this inner work then and really push through this dream work and the subconscious what's in there so that's some balance that we're all doing and really 
harmonizing, really working on harmonizing. And the harmony for you is coming from that self-love. So start there. This full moon is lighting up your inner child. So yay, you get to be there for that love. And what a new beginning for all of us but especially for you and your community. That's important to you, Gemini. Those are your friends. So thinking about your friends, your community for the next 30 days, but also the next seven years. Chiron moves through there. And right now, you get to really love yourself. Yay. Okay, we'll see you for the Aries new moon in two weeks. Okay, bye, Gemini.